previously on Living the Life with Kimmy. Coming up, even within the friend group, the you, 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 like straight back. What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. Welcome to Living the Life with Kimmy. Welcome to Get to Know to Get to Know Me. Um, so today, um, we have some questions that you guys asked me on IG. So I'll be answering those questions. But before I get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to share the link. And yeah. Check out my previous videos, um, the two vlogs I posted uh, last week and the uh, week before last week. And yeah, do your thing. Um, today, guys, you know, it's a Q and A. You guys asked me some spicy questions. I mean, I get it. I get it. You guys want to know? I'll answer all those questions with confidence and honesty. And yeah, I mean, let's get into the first questions. So the first question is my biggest insecurity. So to be really honest, I believe I'm just enough. Uh, whatever you think, it's that's what you think. I don't care. But I believe I'm just enough. I don't think I have um, any insecurity. So at the moment, that's a no. And yeah, let's get into the next question. So I need to run this laptop quick. Okay. What the hell is this? Hold on, guys. Oh, oh, I have to go this way. Okay. My favorite sports, um, most of you guys might know. Um, my favorite sports is rugby, but I play soccer most of the time. I can't play soccer, you know. I just play for the fun of it. And um, I play rugby. I used to play for Busy B in Langa. Not anymore because of my own reasons. And I'm still looking for a team, but I'm willing to play um, more rugby matches. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Next question. How many exes do I got? So I've answered this question on my NGL um, so many times, you understand? So I don't have exes. I don't, what are exes actually? That's my question. What are exes? If you guys can answer that question in the <clears throat> comments down below, I'll do something for you guys. What are exes? Let me tell you from my point of view, what are exes? Exes are the people say exes are the people that you dated in the past. Well, if you think about the past, hi. Ay, 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 ay. You need to change that because, you know, we need to think ahead now instead of behind us what happened happened whatever happened in the past days in the past so yeah yeah well so whatever happened in the past days in the past yeah i understand oh next question god damn it Shit. okay no i'm not gonna how, oh how many how many hands have you pulled so I'll make this specific for you guys. How many girls have I dated? Where? At my school. So, girls I dated at my school was like, I did two girls. I'm gonna say three. No, no, I'm gonna say two because the third one wasn't serious. It was like uh, two days dating. Cause I wasn't into that person and like, I was kind of forced in it, yeah, but so i wouldn't say i was dating that person so so it was two girls so one was when i was in grade eight and one when i was in grade nine i mean a lot happened guys i have i've been through a lot but yeah we're living life now yeah well i just grinding on youtube focusing on myself instead of females uh once um who's this guy brain for yours no no Either bring fears or keep you on. 
for God. But they said, um, women come and go. Women, they come, they go. No, it's Drake. I don't know who's it, but like, but they say women come and go. So yeah, women come and go. It's like money, it comes in your bank and then it leaves your bank again. So yeah. Next question. My age, how old am I? So a lot of people think I'm 16, 17 or 18 well this is my my age i am actually 15 years of age um next year i'm turning 16. next year shit is gonna go down i i'm getting my id i'm getting my learners like a lot is gonna go down and i'm also doing my passport next year actually because i'm gonna travel i'm gonna travel and i hope to travel with you guys so yeah next question okay this is a question everyone has been waiting for and you know has been waiting for my response to this question so the question is what happened to what happened between you and the dth so let me start off by saying dth stands for don't trust hands now that's a group that was formed at cure for sure you understand that was the group that was formed at Kuro for sure. so basically they were actually at first there were two boys before it was named the dth two boys me and ayola i'm naming names there so you guys can understand so it was me and ayola first day of school in grade eight right we became friends a third person joined us Wam, ne? That's the third person. We became friends for like, like the whole year of last year. We became friends and yeah. And then Ayola knew someone from East London. Ayola is originally from East London, right? So he knew someone from East London, he married my school. He didn't know that a that person goes to school. Actually, that person's name is Lusolam. Yeah? He didn't know him that he goes to that school so he met him um you understand then he introduced the salon to us yeah fine we became friends with him um cure for sure started uh, a rugby team me ayola and lisolam joined our first practice lisolam came with his friends his friend ayanda fine we became friends so we introduced Ayanda to Wam because Wam never went to rugby, you understand? So it was five of us now. As the year went, we did a lot at school, guys. Like, if you guys ask anyone from Kuro for sure about the DJ, they will have a long story. Everyone will have something to say. And um, we became friends. Now we named ourselves the Big Five slash DTH. Let me tell you where the name DTH came from. Us boys go through a lot, right? So we dated like girls, I understand. We dated a friend group. Actually, the four of them dated in they dated people in a friend group. Yeah. They dated and dated. No, I dated to someone that was kind of part of a friend group. But they wasn't. They weren't part of a friend group. Yeah. So I don't know what happened, but toxicness came in within that school. Toxicness came in within that school. People used to play spin the bottle with our girlfriends, like, and like, basically, basically, you understand? And like, yeah, man, it was too much. You understand? It was too much, for real, it was too much. With Even within the friend group, like, you, 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 you. Like, straight type. Like, we chill on within the friend group. But you know, I don't wanna say some stuff like that. You understand? Because, hey, to create drama. I mean, if you have something to say with me, come on, pull on our IG. 
talk to me. You understand? Yeah. It was a lot of drama. So basically, now with the DTH, we're not part anymore because Wam and Lissalam left the school. Yeah? Then it was me, Ayanda, Ayanda. Ayanda and um, Ayola. Yeah. Then this year, Ayola came to school for term one and term two. Term two, he left and went to Meridian, where Wam was at. You understand? So this is how we broke up. Yeah. Apparently, me, Wam, and Ayola, we went out for Wam's birthday. Yeah? We went out for Wam's birthday to Waterfront. Apparently, that night or the next day, Ayanda and Lissalam were on a call with females. Females we know. Females were friends with. You understand? They talked a lot of crap about us. And the person that was in the call came to us and told us, me, Wam, and, I mean, yeah, me, Wam, and Ayola. The person that was in the call came to us and told us. We saw the two boys, Ayanda and Lusalam, from day one. I didn't like them. But you know, you had to fake it because the change, the chance. I understand so we had to fake it i mean i faked my whole journey with them i'm not gonna lie to you guys i faked my whole journey with them you know i really faked it if someone else faked it i don't know but nah i'm being honest i actually faked it i didn't like them at all their style just their vibe no just too much for me to understand let me get, let me not get off topic. So, yeah, where was I? So I was saying, we went out to waterfront. Yeah, they were on a call with these girls. They were talking crap about us. Fine, we didn't take note of that until someone came to us and told us what they said. We decided to distance ourselves from them because you know, I mean, these people are being fake. Why do you go on a call and talk about us just because you were not invited to the party or the outing? I mean, if you're not invited, then you're not invited. You don't invite yourself or force yourself to. When we were at Waterfront later, around six, we asked the Salam to pull up for an attitude and he said, no, I'm at home. I mean, I don't care, type. If you do, I invited you. But you still go talk crap about me on a call. And guess what? Who's the dumb one now? It's them too. But you know, I call out. And you know, nah. Oh. I invited Wam, Ayanda, Lisolam, and Ayola to my house. Guess who came? It was Wam, Nisalam, and Ayola. Ayanda never came. The whole day, he has been telling us he's coming and stuff like that. From then, I was like, no, 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 this is not a friend. This is not a friend. I mean, if you can't come somewhere and you're invited, we are at your Okay, dog, I'm not gonna come because something and something happened or something, I'm going somewhere. Oh, I was busy. I something something like you tell me that your plan is changed because my agenda was with you, was with you today, yeah, bro. So you tell me that you're canceling the plans. Doesn't matter how late you tell me, as long as you communicate with me, but you're not coming anymore. You understand? And we said that whole time that guy said he was coming. Kubeto eight no less. Guy is still coming. The next day he's still coming he never spoke to us he spoke to us late the next day late he sent us a voice note i wish i could play that voice note but now nah, that's too far he sent us a voice note saying no something happened and stuff like that i mean i'm not gonna believe that 
my dog if you didn't want to come to my house you could have just said it and not fake it out next question i mean if you have some more questions about that i'm i'm available on ig pull up i'll answer you um next question okay now someone's asking me about some oh, damn it okay i'll answer you what happened between you and zinande so what happened was oh yeah i would say a popular but not popular girl you know most people know her let me say that and yeah i dated her it was nice I, I had a very good relationship with her i'm not gonna lie then it ended where she was doing weird stuff not weird stuff but like what am i gonna say like we were walking past each other like nothing happened like we're not dating so i mean i just decided to go up to her and ask her what's the problem and then i heard from her friends not from her friends but like from people that i zinande who did tiki when i ask her ba what's up okay then she says nothing that's the one thing about females they don't talk but they talk to their friends i mean if we're dating you talk to me not our friends because i'm not dating your friends i'm dating you but that wasn't that wasn't a problem no i mean you can get advice from your friend but don't let your friend decide for you yeah boy don't say don't let your friend decide for you when your friend says break up with him go out when he says no stay with him and then you still break up with him you cannot regret 100 percent 100 percent but yeah yeah we had a very good relationship she's a nice person um i would recommend you guys to date her you know yeah she's a very good like nice girl respectful supporting and stuff like that so yeah she's she's fine um my role model next question is who's my role model my role model is my dad i look up to my dad 24 7. i just want to be he's he's a nice person he's a caring he's just everything i just want to be him that's my role model my guy oh okay would you have would you ever have a threesome no 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 because if you have a threesome then that's basically you're doing with it you're doing it wait if it's two girls yes if it's two men and one girl no because why no 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 okay would you date a bisexual girl no, 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 I wouldn't. Actually, I would like to. I will try it. But yeah, you know, I'm very fragile. So, so I wouldn't. Nah, because eh, girls out here are toxic. I don't know what came into them. And eh. no, 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 I wouldn't actually. Next. Are you talking to anyone? At the moment, no. At the moment, no. Because I'm focusing on myself. You know? Focusing on myself, grinding for you guys. And <clears throat> nothing else but focusing on myself, yeah. And I think that's best for me. You understand? That's best for me. I know I'm moving too fast with these questions, but like I have to because the sun is going down. Okay, I think that's about it. Okay, guys. That was the last question. If you guys want a part two, I'm gonna put up an NGL link on my, my story. Um, yeah. So you guys check that out and um, 
ask me some more questions and if you guys want to make sure and ask me a question that was asked or want to make sure or clarify you ask me don't be scared dm me on ig and i'll reply with a video but let's tell so guys thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and yeah we'll see you in the next video peace